Okay, 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 okay. You know, quick thoughts before I bounce into the next episode. That was episode four of The Runaways. Uh, you know, heating up a little bit. Heating up a little bit. The mystery is uh, percolating right now, right? You know what I'm saying? Uh, I love the moment between Chase and his dad because he was like, sit down, sit down right here. And he thought it was going to be one of the moments. And it's like, bro, stop acting like that towards your daddy, bro. Just nut up. Fucking be a man. Don't let him intimidate you like that. At the end of the day, he's another man. All right. I know it's your father, but this inferiority complex that you have when it when he walks in the room is kind of crazy. It's like you are physically strong enough to whoop his ass, but you probably wouldn't because he intimidates you so bad. But this was a sick moment because he says he's like, just just tell you know. The, don't worry about the execution. It wasn't perfect, but we'll get there in time. Now. Tell me, tell me this idea in your mind right now is perfect. Like, yeah, that shit was kind of hard, son. That shit was kind of hard. I like that, you know. So that was a cool moment. Uh, uh, Nico's dad and then Chase's dad going together, trying to get a homeless person. It's like, my goodness, you niggas wasn't even slick, boy. Like, it's just... Knock this motherfucker over the head. Tonk him in the van. Don't get over there and be like, oh, we should hit him with the tire. Well, we should do this. Like, my God. Like, you niggas act like y'all ain't never kidnapped people before. And as we see at the very end of the episode, they've been kidnapping people for over 15 years. It's like, I understand the position that you're in, Caroline. I really do. You know what I'm saying? A whole lot of your world's being toughed upside down today. But... I mean, how much more proof do you need to see that your parents are not good? You're not, they're not good. All of them, all of them are in the same boat, okay? And honestly, it's like Gert's parents is the only ones that don't seem to be on it like that. They literally made a weapon to protect themselves. But at the same time, they're not fighting against it either. So that's, that's an issue. That's an issue. But obviously, Nico's mom... I think her name's Tina, it's just, she's on it like that, so she already knows about that little nest egg, that little safe place, she said, oh, I assume that's why you've been diverting funds over there, I thought she was gonna leave us, well, you know, dreamers got a dream, yeah, yeah, I like that, I like that, alright, I appreciate that, so, you know, I think the kid girls are coming off a little bit in this show, not completely, not completely, you know what I'm saying, there's still a lot to figure out. Obviously, Gert's parents made a fucking raptor. I like how Molly was about to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with that bitch. Honestly, she would have came out scathed, but shit. You know, I think if she would have punched that motherfucker square in his noggin one time, he would have been lights out. She kicked that motherfucker up to the heavens, all right? So, like I said, the shit's going on. Chase is finally... Getting to this tech side, I think that was the only issue that I caught with, like, the intro, or at least, like, the, the thumbnail that's the intro, because it kind of gives away some of the powers or whatever, but, like I said, I like the fact that he's actually not just some jock, and now I guess that he's, you know, let go of lacrosse, as he should, and, bro, like, you don't have to quit the team just because these bitch-ass niggas want to talk about, oh, just do what's good for the team, bro. I'm supposed to apologize to you? Hell no. If anything, you niggas get off the team. Fuck you niggas. And that's what's crazy is I'm, it, it must, it obviously is like that for a lot of programs and things like that. I thought that was just like a small town thing when you grow up in a small town where basically if it, it, it can be any sport really but like coming from my experience it was like football or whatever and football was like running the town and, you know there was some things on the side shady things that were taking place and if you had a connection to the football team the chances are you know it was going to be swept under the rug or whatever things like that and i just it's hilarious i didn't even catch her name but the chick that came and chewed out caroline oh my god she's from original she gets on my last goddamn nerve and she continues her performance even today so uh <laughs> That shit was just hilarious to me. She's like, the cross team really slut. <laughs> it's like, who listens to this garbage? But hey, hey, you know, they're they're kids, so they don't they don't quite get 
how the world works. Yeah, I get it. Nico, how could you ever really think you was gonna go to the police and just tell them everything? Like seriously, yo families is big time families. Like, come on. Did you really think that that was gonna work? If you went through with that, I'm glad shit happened to where that wasn't the case. Honestly, that would have put a nail on the whole thing right there. Everyone's exposed. Everyone knows who knows the truth. And then who knows what happens to them. Probably bad things. Probably bad things. But my thing is like, did they, did Nico's mom kill Amy? Unlikely. Because they talk about it like it was a tragedy. But she seemed like that wasn't a normal reaction. Clearly, obviously. What happened? That's that's a that's an outline mystery. That's an outline mystery right now. Who took Alex? Who took Alex? It seemed like because um his mom was rolling in a ve a vehicle like that, so maybe it's someone affiliated with her. Or someone else has pulled up to snatch this thing. I can't even think who else it could be. Maybe his dad. Uh, oh, I don't know. I don't know. So that is it for episode four of Marvel's The Runaways. You know, quick little review things. Quick little review things. So, you know, go ahead, like, comment, subscribe. I'll catch you on another episode review. I'm busting out episode five. Come on. Now back in.